Well, a very good evening from Ecos Porto Petro in Mallorca, and cheers. I look a bit so I've caught the sun today. I've just done my makeup. I think it might be the angle, the lighting. I mean, um, because I didn't look this red when I was doing my makeup. Let's see if I, yeah, if I turn. You see, that's lighting for you. It's all about the lighting, isn't it? Um, welcome to. A surprisingly lovely week. I say surprisingly lovely because the weather has been so much nicer than we were anticipating it was going to be. It's been a real, considering it's, you know, getting... <laughs> that's my brother next door. I don't know if you heard. You can have your bit in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the weather was due to be pretty darn awful, to be honest, and it's turned out to be beautiful. It's been... How hot was it today? 26, did Amanda say? What? 26 degrees today? Yeah. Yes, 26 it's been today. And this is the view from our room. Down onto the sea. You can hear the sea. It's lovely, all the boats out there and lovely villas over there. That is the other side of, well not the other side of the resort, but there's more hotel rooms there. Um, and then these ones down here are villas, um, again within the hotel. And they've done um, like roof gardens on them, which is quite nice rather than look, looking down onto a, you know, just a slate roof or a grey roof. It's um, rather nice with hi the guys. roof gardens. Nick, Nick is desperate to say hi guys. There's hi Nick guys. over there. Hi Nick, are you having a lovely holiday, Nick? Yes, lovely holiday. Good. Nice time, and Amanda's there as well. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I will do you a room tour at some point when the room's a bit tidier than it is now because we've just got ready to go out for the evening. I'm actually quite hot with this cardigan on. Might have to take it off. Um, and I will show you a little. I've filmed quite a bit already around the resort and food and that sort of thing. Um, I met a very nice gentleman whose neck I think his name might have been Stephen, who recognised me from YouTube yesterday in the pool and we had quite a long chat. He's also been to some of the other Ecos resorts that we've been to. They have several of owned by the same company. They also own the Sani Resort in Halkaduki. Um I think there's maybe like six or seven Ecos resorts now. We've been to the Olivia in Halkadiki and also Dacia in Corfu. And this one is a newly opened one in Mallorca this year. Um, this one is slightly different from the other two we've been to. Um, it's spread out over a much bigger area. In fact, my brother worked out the from one end of the resort to the other to walk is 0.65 miles. So it's quite a long way. Just need to have a sip of wine, bear with. And I know that, um, as I men mentioned the gentleman that I met in the pool yesterday, who said that because of that, he wasn't that keen on that, that aspect of it. Um, and I guess for some people it wouldn't work. I, I quite like it because it feels quite spread out. Also, you don't have the high rise here. The other two Ecos resorts we've been to have been had buildings that are seven or eight stories high, which I don't love. There's nothing higher than the ones over there. And this one we're in, we're on the second floor here. And um, those ones over there, as you can see, are the same as this, as um, the ground floor and then two floors above that. And I kind of like that. Um, the grounds here are so pretty. If you like a flat, long beach, this is not the place for you. It's built around two little coves and they're beautiful, but they're rocky and the beaches are um, not the nicest sand. And the sea's lovely. We've swum in the sea today and it's beautiful, really, really nice, very clear. But the beaches aren't the in terms of the sand and um, you know the size of them they're not the same as the other Ricos resorts we've been to so that's worth knowing if you're considering coming here um, but I actually really like it I like the way the resort is spread out it does make it it's nearly full here um, I think there's capacity at the moment is 900 people or something and um, it doesn't feel that busy sometimes at meal times when you go into the restaurants oh, sorry that's my phone um, yeah sometimes at um, Meal times when you go into the restaurants it feels a little bit busy but you never have to wait very long for a table um, even with six of us and um, 
yeah, we're, we're really enjoying it so far. So, here's Mum and my Auntie Joan all ready for the evening, all yeah. dressed up, aren't you, girls? Oh, Hi guys. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen you. <laughs> yeah. And you want to give a special message to your friend? What's her name? June. See June. you soon, June. Look forward to telling you all about my holiday. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the club car journey from where our rooms were, which were probably about two thirds of the way down the resort, back to the reception area where the main restaurants and bars were. The distance is perfectly walkable, but it is quite hilly. There's quite a lot of up and down hills um, for walking from one end of the resort to the other. Um, we tended to walk during the day and then get the golf carts in the evening. sitting in, oh, I'm not sitting because I'm standing here, this is the, um, I can't remember the name of this bar, it's the, I think it's the Porto Petro bar actually, and it's really lovely. If I turn you around to see the view that we've got, it's over the little harbour town or village of Porto Petra. really stunning view. And out this way, to the sea is over there and I think the restaurant upstairs there is Oliva which is the Spanish restaurant I think don't quote me on that one I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong about that outside bar area there and inside bar there Good morning, it is now the following day. I thought I would do, while I'm in the room by myself, a very quick little room tour. Um, we have got the, I'm gonna say bog standard rooms, the basic, I don't know what they call them, but um, it's meant to be a partial sea view, double room. I'm sure it's got more words in the description as that because they always have, but that's what it is. We got a really super good deal through Broadway Travel when they first launched the bookings for this resort. Um, so we just went with the basic rooms and I have to say, really impressed with them. Um, that's the main door into the room and then let's do the bathroom first. Come into the bathroom, got double sink unit here which is nice. Got a bath which is a real bonus, I wasn't expecting to have a bath. Um, which is lovely because I do like a bath when I'm on holiday. Got a separate cubicle here for the loo which is in there and then again a separate cubicle here. I'm probably not showing you this brilliantly, bear with. Um, yeah, separate cubicle here for the shower. Really nice big walk-in shower there. So yeah, very impressed with the bathroom. Then come back out into the room. Got two sets of cupboards here. Um, hanging space in that one. We asked for some new hanger, extra hangers and they arrived really super quickly. Then a little drawer at the bottom there. Um, shelf at the top. Um, then the next one here is shelves down there, safe. Um, then more hanging space. Oh, I had an ironing board, haven't used that, but I might need to this evening. Um, and then in, you've got a 
floor to ceiling mirror here, nice big full length mirror into the main part of the room and you've got super super, super comfy bed with that lovely ecos bedding and pillows um, bedside tables and um, hanging bedside lights um, really big um, window balcony door thing and dressing table here big telly haven't switched that on since we got here um, and the dressing table I really like the bamboo mirror there um, and coffee maker, coffee machine and kettle there and you've got a mini bar which is all included in the all inclusive in this one here and this one has just got cups and cutlery and glasses and so on in those drawers then you've got a little sitting area so sort of mini sofa it's big enough for two to sit on and a coffee table do excuse the mess by the way um and then did i show you the balcony out here um the balcony table and a sofa i have to say i would have liked the addition of perhaps a uh, um, another chair because we tend to be one, one or other of us sits on there and sort of stretches out across it full length and there's not another chair we have brought this chair out onto the balcony but it's not the comfortablest so an extra chair would have been a nice touch and then an, a lamp there and then this is our view as I said we booked a partial sea view but we've got this beautiful I certainly wouldn't call it a partial sea view we've got this beautiful view out to sea which is really very nice indeed so this is looking down, just to show you, that's where our room is, up in that direction. And down here is, there's one of the beaches, Little Cove, and this is the, is that the Beach Club bar it's called? And that's yeah, the Beach, Beach Club. Club restaurant. And then there's three swimming pools actually, there's um, like an adult's one there, a kid's sort of paddling pool at the end. And then this one here. Um, and then you've got sort of tiered seating all the way up these two levels. It's on sand here, which is not great because all the sand gets trodden down to around the pool and it gets soggy and sandy, which is not particularly lovely. We prefer sitting around the adult's pool. Um, but they do aqua aerobics here in the day and the kids club bring the kids down here to do various activities. And then, yeah, as I said, we've got one of the beaches just there. is the deluxe area has some pool some rooms here with pools and this is the deluxe pool area I don't know if I can film in there because there's people 
that bungalows with little pools, which is really nice. And then that's the main deluxe pool area. All the pools here are, or well, almost all the pools are rectangular. Personally, I prefer a freeform pool, but that's just me being picky. We've just been into the ice cream parlour, gelatory. Over there, I can film when there's loads of kids in there. But I've got one scoop of black cherry. And Ashley's got, what have you got? Chocolate, Chocolate a in a cone. Another lovely view. This is from the area just underneath reception where the um, ice cream parlour is. That is the market, which is the buffet restaurant. the view from here. Beautiful.